Running in the cold, the best way to get sick when you have an exam the next day. Good evening, everyone. The best track and field teams in Marquette County met up at the Ishpeming Playgrounds today to run fast, jump high, and a lot of other things. To the Batmobile. It was a cold and windy day for the meet, uh, or as the coaches called it, Monday. High jump now, Michael Alberello from Marquette, and he clears the bar better than my son clears a bowl of mac and cheese. Next is Nagani's Tyler Hinsela, and he gets enough air to be able to jump over a family of four at Applebee's after nine o'clock for the free appetizers. To the girls' long jump, check out the miners, Chloe Kraus, jumping like Mario over those mushroom things. 14 feet, five and a half inches for Kraus. Next up is her teammate, Macy Aho. Love those shoes. Her top score would be 13 feet, nine inches. To girls pole vault now, Nagani's Emily Nelson is gonna go stick jumping here. She clears seven feet, six inches with ease, but this event will always belong to Ishpeming's Libby Doni as she takes first place with a top score of nine feet, 7.2 inches. To the boys, 110 meter hurdles. Leading the way in this one was Nagani's Joe Grasso. He finished with the first place time of 16.27 seconds. For the girls, ahead of the pack by a few lengths is Marquette's Jackie Camarada. She came in at a time of 17.38 seconds. We go now to the boys' 100 meter hurdles now, and Joe Grazzo proves that he's fast with or without hurdles as he takes first place with a time of 11.51 seconds. As for the girls, check out the middle lanes. Two redettes as Therese Leedy and Izzy Peterson were neck and neck, but in the end, it was Peterson taking first place over Leedy by three hundredths of a second, 12.98 seconds. So let's take a look now at the final standings. First for the boys, it's Gwyn in fifth, Westwood in fourth, third was Ishpeming, second was Nagani, and in first place by a long shot, the Marquette Redman. For the girls, it was the exact same. Gwyn, Westwood, Ishpeming, Nagani, and a dominating first place finish for the Marquette Redettes. To the softball scoreboards now, it was Nagani getting two convincing wins over Gwyn today, 10-0 in game one in five innings, 15-0 in game two in three innings. It was a big matchup down in Delta County as the Eskimos hosted the Redettes. In game one, it was Escanaba taking down Marquette 6-2 thanks to a two-run home run from Taylor Gauthier. And in game two, Taylor Roth had the game-winning bunt single in the bottom of the ninth as the Eskimos win it 3-2 and sweep the doubleheader. In Kingsford, it was the Flivers pounding Ishpeming 10-0 in game one, but in game two, the Hematites flipped the switch and Sinead Corvala blasted two home runs, including the go-ahead two-run shot to give Ishpeming the 10-8 win. In the Copper Country, it was Calumet hosting Houghton, and the Copper Kings win game one 9-5. Then in game two, with two outs in the bottom of the seventh, Calumet's Maybelline burying gets the game-winning RBI to score and Sturros 6-5 the final score. We stay in the Copper Country for some high school baseball. Marquette gets five hits in game one, but it was enough as they beat Houghton 7-6. And in game two, the Redmen jumped on the Gremlins early as they coasted to a 12-2 win to get the sweep. In Nagani, the Miners held back a furious rally from Norway as they win game one by a score of 7-6. The Knights turned around and got the shutout win in game two, 5-0 the final score. In boys high school tennis, it was Nagani getting the win over Westwood 6-2. In Ishpeming, it was a tough day for the Hematites as they fall to West Iron County 8-0. And Escanaba topped Marquette 6-2 as they swept the double matches in straight sets.